Good evening, everyone. It'll just be a few moments as we make sure to share our love far and wide on the internet by sharing this video in various groups so we can join together in contemplative prayer tonight. Welcome to Compline, contemplative service of easily memorized prayers that is found in many liturgical Christian communities. Thank you for joining in. It's Brother Dylan from the Cathedral Church of All Saints here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada, as well as the community of the Mother of Jesus based in the Anglican Communion and Episcopal Church out of Chicago, Illinois. Our order for Compline today comes to us from the Book of Common Prayer from the Anglican Church of Canada. If you have a copy, feel free to follow along. If you don't, it may be similar to something you already know, or you can download a copy at www.anglican.ca. Our service begins on page 722. Today is also an interesting day in the church calendar. It is 
a day for St. Thomas the Apostle. This is feast day. So let us listen for a moment uh, about a bit about St. Thomas. St. Thomas was a disciple who followed Jesus from Galilee to Jerusalem. The first three gospels list his name among the 12 apostles, but say nothing more about him. It is in the fourth gospel that Thomas gains prominence and even some notoriety. According to John, when Jesus began his final journey to Jerusalem, Thomas understood what it meant and said to his fellow disciples, let us also go, that we may die with him. But after the resurrection, Thomas refused to believe that the other disciples had seen the risen Jesus. His doubt was quashed in the most dramatic way. And in John's account, the risen Lord drove the point home by telling Thomas, you believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. In the New Testament, the appearances of the risen Lord are proof that God's saving purpose has entered its final stage. By appearing to his disciples, Jesus anticipated the still greater revelation when all the people of the earth would see him in glory and acknowledge him as Lord. So Thomas was not wrong in his desire to behold and touch the Lord, but he made seeing the prediction of believing rather than its fulfillment. What blessing could he expect if, like the rest of the world, he postponed faith until the second coming, when sight will leave the world no choice but to believe that Jesus rose from the dead? Those who have not yet seen and believe, therefore, have a unique freedom in this present age. They shall not experience the final revelation as an eternity of compelled obedience, but as an everlasting moment of creation's fulfillment. Jesus had mercy on Thomas and healed his desire even as he granted it. In the same way, we who honor the doubting apostle may pray for the healing of our own desires, that they might become a source of freedom and not of constraint when God shall fulfill our faith with the vision of Christ in glory. Have you believed, Thomas, because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Almighty and ever-living God, who strengthened your apostle Thomas with faith in the resurrection of your son, strengthen us when we doubt, and make us faithful disciples of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who with you, O Father and the Holy Spirit, lives and reigns eternally. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wonted favor thou wouldst be our guardian and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasies, tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost in thee, doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye, and hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking and God is sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. 
Lord, now lettest thou servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to enlighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people, Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guide us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and of life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us all our sins, and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to life everlasting, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit, we beseech thee, O Lord, this place, and drive from it all snares of the enemy. Let thy holy angels dwell herein to preserve us in peace. And may thy blessing be upon us evermore through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who at this evening hour didst rest in the sepulchre, and didst thereby sanctify thy grave to be the bid of hope of thy people, make us so to abound in sorrow for our sins, which were cause of thy passion. And when our bodies lie in the dust, our souls may live with thee, who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Be present, O most merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chance of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changeless, changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will lay down in peace and take our rest, for it is in thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen.
Thank you so much for joining in for our Saturday night conference session together. It means a lot to be able to come to you every week with this. And uh, thank you for supporting us in our ministry, both with the cathedral, with the community, and with myself. It means the world to be able to bring this to you every week. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you next Friday.